Hi, this is Fiona from Consciously Clearing Decluttering. I recently did a video for South Dublin Libraries um, talking about decluttering and said if anyone had any questions, if they wanted to post them up and I would get back to them. So um, I have had some of the queries come in, so we're going to go through a few of them today. Um, question. My house is a mess, but I just can't motivate myself. Any tips? Um, I think a lot of us are finding our houses maybe a bit more chaotic now. Maybe we had, you know, simple strategies to keep ourselves organized and decluttered, but now perhaps we're working from home. Um, we're in, definitely in the house more often. The children um, are now being schooled at home. So there's an awful lot going on. Generally, if somebody doesn't have a clue where to start or they're just feeling really overwhelmed, I would suggest they either start with the kitchen or start with their own bedroom. Um, I think now more than ever when life is quite stressful, having a relaxed, calming atmosphere in your bedroom can really support your mental health. Um, also, I would say to clients, um, set a timer now for one hour because if you're finding it hard to get started because you think this is never going to end, knowing that it's just one hour out of your day can be enough to get you started and it'll also speed you up a little bit. So like if you were in the bedroom for one hour, get the floor surfaces clear. Anything that's been dropped on the floor, rehome it. Any um, clutter on dressing tables or bookshelves or little bits and bobs, again, rehome them because it, visually it will create a sense of calm. Also, in my experience, a bedside locker usually takes about a half an hour and um, it's a matter of just tipping everything out and then rehoming it. Um, wardrobes may be not the best place to start right now because they generally take about three hours. So I'd go for a couple of easy wins first and then that might um, inspire you to take on a three hour project. If it's the kitchen, um, I'd see usually a kitchen cabinet would take about a half an hour you need to take everything out of one cabinet and only do one at a time or you will feel overwhelmed because you will see so much. Take everything out, wash down the cupboard and then go through each item and putting back only what you know you want, need and use. Um, another quick half hour project is the fridge. And again, it's probably being constantly used throughout the day and people just shoving stuff back in. That's about a half an hour project. To take everything out, wash down the fridge and then put it back in some sort of orderly fashion. And um, if you keep tipping away at it, doing just one hour every day, you will be surprised how much you can achieve because I think lasting change comes about through baby steps and building on those baby steps. So hopefully that helps you. Next question, paperwork. Home with four kids under 13, occasionally I'll grab all the papers and throw them into a bag or a box to sort later. Outcome is I have bags and boxes cluttering the hall to be sorted when I have time. Um, first of all, what you did was correct in terms of if there's lots of paperwork sprinkled throughout the house, I would always say to clients, gather it all up into bags, centralize it, and then start sorting through it. So really good start. Um, this is kind of like an onion project in that you will have to peel off a layer and another layer and another layer. So again, setting um, a timer for an hour and sorting through as much as you can in one hour. If these include children's artwork, um, encourage them to find out, do you want to keep this or not? Because sometimes as parents, we can attach a lot of guilt through throwing out our children's artwork and they may have totally moved on from it. Or another simple solution is this week, my daughter made this, which is out of a simple cereal packet and she's going to paint it this week. And she puts all of her paper in that and her little projects and her little um, drawings. And then she decides at the end of the week what's to be thrown away. And sorting through the paperwork, that's something that can be done when you're sitting out in the garden or watching something on TV. So you can just tip away at it. But you're halfway there. Just take it to the next step and hopefully you should uh, get through that probably in a week. 
And again, just one hour a day, so you'll know when the time ends. So there's two questions answered for this week. And next week, I will come back and do some more. Bye now.